No, I did not buy two of these. No, I was not sent two of these for free. But what happened was Gigaparts did not get the Optima. I bought the Optima radio and I got it from Gigaparts. Gigaparts did not get the Optimas in as early as the West Coast California HRO did. In fact, the East Coast HRO guys didn't get theirs in as early as the West Coast did either. But regardless of that, Gigaparts sent me this field radio and they're like, we're gonna send this to you. We want you to make a video about it. We want you to be one of the first ones to make a video about it. So thank you to Gigaparts for that. And they said, when we're, your Optima comes in, you can send this one back to us. And I said, sure, no problem. So I'm about to send this one back to them, but they're gonna do something super special with it. More to come on that soon. For now, I wanted to do an unboxing video between these two, the field radio, which is in this black box right here. Obviously the box is smaller. And the Optima radio with the 100 watt amplifier. Now some people have asked, some people have speculated that the Optima does not come with a battery. It does, I'll show that to you here in a minute. And some people have speculated that it came with, I don't remember what else I heard. I heard something that it came with something else or it didn't come with something else. I don't really remember what I heard, but regardless of what the speculation is out there, I don't think anyone's actually done a comparison video between these two yet. So let's try this out real quick. We're gonna see manuals are the same on both, okay? There's a cool map of North America in the back with their sticker. Those are there, okay, set those aside. FT1, FTX1 series manual. So yeah, they look to be the same there. Okay, so the first part we've got in here is this. This is the battery for the field radio right here. And those of you who uh, I caught up with me at uh, Hamvention 2025, this is the radio I had at Hamvention 2025. What is that? That looks like some kind of cover or stand I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what this is. So it probably says in the manual, I'm not gonna open the manual. I'm a real ham radio operator. And here is the head of the radio, the, the whole radio itself actually for the field model. There's my bag for that. Let's see what else is in here. I don't think there's, well, there's gotta be a microphone in here. That right there, okay. There's nothing else in there. Oh, so the microphone's underneath here, that's fine. That is a power cable. That's the barrel connector power cable to run the field unit from 12 volt DC. So you can plug it into a battery, 12 volt power supply, whatever, and get full 10 watts out of it. Here's the microphone. And that's all that's in that, well, no, some extra fuses it looks like. Yeah, two extra little fuses down here as well. So that's all the stuff that's in the compartment down there. Okay, set that aside for the moment. That's the field model. That's the one that I had at Hamvention 2025 that we did the live stream with and I was carrying around in my bag the whole time to let people play with it. This is a power cable right here with the four port connector, a Molex style connector on it right here and it's got the bare wires on the other end. You can see that in, hopefully you can see that in the picture right there. See that in the picture right there. This is the full powered cable for the back of the amplifier. This is a battery. This is coming out of the Optima box now. Coming out of the Optima box and I'm showing you everything that it comes with. Here's the battery. So again, some people had speculated, oh, the Optima doesn't come with the battery. You have to buy it separately. No, you don't. It's right here. And Gigaparts didn't put this in special for me. This is how it comes from the factory. Here is the 12 volt uh, barrel connector power cable to plug the face of the radio, the, uh, the field series, just the head by itself into 12 volts and get the 10 watt QRP out of it. Without that, with the battery only, the radio is six watts on HF. And I'm curious to see what it is on VHF, UHF. I wanna say it's five watts on VHF, UHF. That might be a good experiment for another video. But with the power cable, with this lead, very similar to the IC705 power cable, the barrel connector with the 90 degree turn in it. In fact, you know what, I'll open this one because this one's mine. The barrel connector with the 90 degree turn in it and bare wires on the other end. Now, if you are planning to grab one of these, and as you will see, because we're at the beach today, I'm sitting at the beach house in Galveston, we're gonna go to the Poda Park tomorrow, and when I'm there, I am going to use Mezzi and Poloni coax to power this radio. Mezzi and Poloni is the sponsor of today's video. You can always save a 
discount on all of their products at the link in the description below. Use the coupon code of HR2Cables. HR2Cables will get you 10% off of all Mezzi and Plony coax. Their scissors, their connectors, their Evo connectors, all sizes of their coax, their Ultraflex, their Hyperflex, everything else. So thank you Mezzi and Plony for supporting the channel. But this barrel connector right here is very reminiscent of the IC705 barrel connector. And where's the other end of it here? This, this, this wire is probably like 16 gauge. It's not very thick wire at all. It's 10 watts that it runs to get uh, full power out of the field model without the 100 watt amplifier. Okay, in here still got fuses. Got two other fuses. Okay, so these are uh, blade fuses here. Those must go in the amplifier, I'm guessing. Two, two uh, barrel type fuses there. That, this was in the field package. Mic clip. Those are probably, I'm guessing that those are feet. Those are probably feet for the amplifier, for the 100 watt amplifier, so you can set it on a desk and not uh, have to worry about it rolling around. And whatever this thing is, I'm figured out what that is. Maybe I'll figure that out later. This also comes with the Optima model, okay? So let's take this out. There we go. Now, this is the Optima model right there with the amplifier attached to the back of it. Here's the back of the amplifier. It has two SO239 ports. I was wondering about that myself. Actually, no, I'm sorry, it has three. It has three SO239 ports. Let me read this. Antenna, 144 to 450 is what this one is here. I told you guys I turned 50 last year, right? 51 this year. All right, HF and 50 megahertz, antenna one and antenna two. It's got dual antennas on the back of this amplifier. Okay, guys, do you realize how rare that is? I didn't know that. I just, I just learned something. I just learned this. Do you know how rare it is to have dual antennas on the back of a 100-watt radio? The only radio I own that has dual antenna ports on the back of it for HF. This one, it has, this has three antenna ports. This is the VHF, UHF. This is dual antennas for HF. That's pretty cool. I didn't get that at all. I don't remember talking to anybody about that at, at the ham fest last week. That's pretty slick. My IC7300, my IC7000, IC7200 back when I had one, I don't have one anymore. My FTDX10, the FT710 that I had for a short while and I gave away, don't have that anymore. All of those had single antenna ports on the back of it. You know the only HF radio, 100 watt HF radio that I have with dual antenna ports? My K3, my Elecraft K3. And the K3S has that, presumably the K4 does too. I'd, I've done a video about the K4. You can reference it on this channel. We did take a look at the back of the radio. I just can't remember off the top of my head right now. I'm sure it has. I'm sure it has two antenna ports on the back of it. Most Elecrafts do. My Elecraft K3 is the only radio that I own with two antenna ports on the back of the radio. That is worth a couple of bucks because nobody else does that in this type of radio. Now, they tell you that this is a shack radio. They're like, take the head off take it into the field, do QRP, POTA, soda with it. Okay, take it home, plug it into the 100 watt amplifier, set it up in your shack and use it as 100 watts in your shack. So in a shack, it, it makes even more sense to have dual antennas. You've got an infed half wave and a dipole, or you've got a hex beam that only does six through 20. And then you want something for 40 meters. You've got a 40 meter um, off center fed dipole or 40 meter in fed half wave up, you can plug both of them up and switch them back and forth. I'll be interested to see how those how that looks in the menu. Because the only menu, presumably the menus change a little bit when you attach the amplifier. I'll be interested to see how that looks in the menu. So I, you know what? I think that's pretty darn cool. I didn't realize that. No one mentioned that at all during the ham fest, during the show. No one mentioned dual HF antenna ports in the back of this amplifier. And uh, what, I was, what I started to say a minute ago, they want you to take this into the shack and set it up. Guess what? This is so going to POTA with me tomorrow. <laughs> I am 100% going to do POTA with this sucker tomorrow. Because, and, and nobody can stop me. Nobody, nobody can stop me. You can't stop me. So, All right, so on this side of the radio here, it has two what, I, what look like ports for a, for a, a, a car mount, a, a bracket mount. Now, one thing about this radio, it does not have a bracket. It's, they don't want you to mount it into a car. I've already seen a couple of Instagram posts where people have tried extending the head on the cable, uh, the head on the radio. You know what? You do you. Go for it. You're going to do that 
go, go right ahead, go for it. Um, I'm not gonna tell you to do it. I'm not gonna tell you not to do it. Just do it at your own risk. That's the only thing. This is the microphone here. So the microphone in the field radio, or I'm sorry, in the optimal radio. And that looks like that's all that's in there. So let's, yeah, that's everything that's in there. So it doesn't come with a tuner. It doesn't come with the fan that goes on the back of the battery. And it doesn't come with, oh, the GPS dongle. Kind of, kind of lame that you have to add an external GPS dongle to it. I, I, yeah, I, okay, I'm with you on that. Some people have said that's really lame. Yeah, yeah, okay, but it is what it is. Two antenna ports though, okay. So this thing's totally going. You know what I don't see? The handle. So these, these were what I was starting, I'm, I'm, I'm distracting myself. I, I was really kind of impressed by those dual antenna ports on the back. This right here, because if you turn it around this way, I thought, oh, maybe they did put a bracket mount in it. No, they don't. There's no mount over here for a bracket. Arm lock guys, there's four case, four screws here and four on the other side. But this is for a carry handle. It does come with a carry handle. There's, it should be in this box somewhere. Did I miss it in this package? No, no, no. It's gotta be in this box somewhere. Huh. It should come with a carry handle. I'm almost certain. It should come with a carry handle and there's not a carry handle in this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do some research. I'm gonna have to contact Gigaparts and I'm gonna say, what does your information tell you? Should this thing come with a carry handle? The carry handle is one of the features that John Crook from Yezu was talking about with this radio at Dayton Hamvention. And it's got the mounts on the side of it right there for the carry handle. I thought it came with it. Be kind of lame if it doesn't come with it, honestly. Um, I thought it came with it, but I don't see it. So more to come on that later. I will put something in the comments of the video below after I learn the truth about whether this should or should not come with a carry handle. So questions answered. Yes, it comes with a battery. Yes, it comes with two power cables, one for the head to get 10 watts out of the QRP radio and one for the amplifier to get your, 100, your full 100 watts. It looks like this cable is rated at 32 volts at 25 amps. So pretty standard Yezu cable right there, really. Unknown about the, there's the, yeah, it comes with feet for the amplifier itself so you can set it on a desk or a table or something get a little bit better stability on it. Don't see the carry handle, doesn't come with the, the tuner, the fan for the battery, or the GPS dongle. Already knew that, but I'm just saying that out loud in this video so people aren't confused. And dual antenna ports. Have I said that? Did I say that a minute? Did I say that a minute? I did. I did. You're right. I did say that a minute ago. Dual antenna ports. I'm sorry. That's just cool. That's just freaking cool. So you can go out to a POTA and set up an infant half wave and a vertical. And you can compare the two. And you can set up an infant half wave for 17 meters and then another infant half wave for 40 meters, which will get you 40, 15, 20, and 10. So now you've got five bands. You can set up a hex beam and a 40 meter offset or a 40 meter infant half wave. So you've got six through 20 plus 40 meters on the 40 meter infant half wave. And you can switch, and you can do antenna comparisons. You can, uh, different band conditions happen on different days. You can set up a vertical, you can set up an infed half wave, you can set up an off center fed dipole, you can set up a loop antenna, if you're into loop antennas, and you can switch back and forth on the radio and compare and listen to the exact same signal on two different antennas and compare and say, well, that guy's an S2 here, but I switched to this other antenna. Oh, wow, he's an S5 there. This antenna is receiving better on this band from whatever direction you have it pointed that day. I think that's cool to have dual antenna ports on a 100 watt radio on a sub $2,000. Yeah, the 7760 from ICOM, the 7610 from ICOM, the FT101D from Yezu, these all have dual antenna ports, but these are three, four, five, six thousand, three to six thousand dollar radio. 7760 is a six thousand dollar radio. The 101D, I think, is a 35, 3800 dollar radio. So you'd kind of expect it on that price point of radio, but on this price point of radio, sub $2,000 HF full 100 watt radio. You've got two antenna ports. I'm impressed by that. I, in case I haven't said it yet, I'm impressed by that. So check out the links in the description below. Huge shout out to Gigaparts for sending this to me at the beach here. We're gonna take it to the park tomorrow and do some POTA. Check out the links in the description below to save 10% on Mezzi and Plony Coax. And we'll catch you guys next time.